my ratings be slump, slumps below 2200 but um, oh well it's up and down on this try and play it as if it's Greenfield, is he going to play E4? nope can I, I don't know play takes, is he really going to take with the Queen? no, so we're in a sort of Greenfield territory again putting pressure nicely on D4 All seems kind of natural for black. Ah, right, maybe knight a5 here. Uh, trying to emphasize the light squares. And play um, f6 and e5. Can reroute knight to d6. That should be a good position. Knight will be a nice blockade on the d pawn. for knight b7 to d6 that will also support f5 at some point and also support bishop a6 targeting c4 as well so these two points c4 and e4 will start putting pressure on dim, the knight in the centre and the blockade is, is great really. Especially, you know, the opponent's otherwise past pawn um on you know the pawn. So um you know maybe bishop a six but I don't know a four maybe it's worth clamping down on a four with queen d seven first. Mm. And also clamping on f four by playing rook e eight. So some prophylaxis uh basically preventative moves. The scourging. Is it really going to play f4 now? Um, so queen d d7 will be more prophylaxis against a4. And also, also maybe bishop a6 and queen a4, just targeting c4, without having to use a pawn break of, of either b5 um, or something, or f5. Just keep these pawn breaks in hand at the moment. Um, but he secured a4. So now maybe I can use the other rook to go to f8 to prepare f5. Maybe h6 and f5 first to avoid giving up the g5 square. So yeah, he's he secured you know nicely c4. Uh, okay, so he's going for this um, plan to try and rupture the pawns. Um, so I'm gonna have to support b6 at some point. But is there time? If I play f5 now, then I've got f4, removing the attack on c5, at least. Which will give flexibility for b takes a5. Um, but do I really want to play b takes a5? I'm not really sure. Um, so we'll see. So f4 here releases some of the tension. Is it better just to play f takes a... Say takes... Uh, rook takes... Mm. Bishop takes. I think that's fairly harmless. So I, I think I prefer f4 to at least not um, lose c5 if I want to take the a pawn. But I probably don't. I think maybe g5, h5, g4, like King's Engine attack. So maybe I should just secure b6 here. Um, but how to do that efficiently whilst maintaining some flexibility for the attack? Um, queen c7, for example, you know, my queen would be useful here to support g4. So maybe you know rook, rook b8 is is a necessary um, thing to do. So I'm trying to get in g5, h5, etc. G4. So how will he put more pressure on b6? That's the question. Uh, he's released the pressure there. So the bishop on c8 is good for g5, g4 anyway. So I'm quite happy about the queen side solidity at the moment, and generally the blockade on the d pawn. I think this is kind of a nice and positional game so far, just you know with a bit of prophylaxis to try and stop positional moves from the opponent. Um, 
I mean, rook a7 I can just you know, get two rooks to the queen I'm not bothered about that rook a8 is more, more of an issue maybe rook b7 uh, and then I don't see how you know white's breaking through there okay so rook b7 I'm hoping keeping b6 secure maybe it's better to move my king just in case of any accidents with this pin so king h7 ah okay the first major issue if I play b5 takes c4 takes I haven't got any queen c5 checks so maybe I can prepare that so queen c7 because now I've got the bishop to support g4 maybe the queen can lose a bit of time here and if that really is a threat b5 then that's interesting uh, it's not really a threat now though um, so how about just king king h7 just preparing g4 still um, okay do I want to play bishop f6 and then g4 just to make sure my rook can just another waiting move mind you I don't know the pressure could be building up but I've got two things on e5 so queen a1 is okay at the moment so the seventh rank is protected so I'm just preparing g4 now in King's Indian style so I think another rook move although here definitely queen a queen a1 or even knight d3 ouch so have I gone over the top here unless I've got maybe knight f7 that that uses the queen as well so knight f7 but then maybe knight takes c5 that's check okay so I'll play this so preparing g4 rather you know obviously so that maybe I'm provoking a weakness you know the threat is stronger than the execution so I'm exaggerating the threat there um, okay g4 now now knight g5 is also a nice king's engine type move to play here um, this might be the right time though e5 it's reaching a sort of um, critical really critical point can I get away with playing queen d7 first just to get a bit more time queen d7 knight e5 I'll take the rook okay let's see does he want an exchange sack with rook e5 otherwise I'm going to play knight g5 ouch another move which um, is annoying to say the least but is the rook well placed there I guess it is um, I'll play takes now because knight g5 and I'll be threatening knight takes f3 at, at least so it's a tactical climax now so rook takes f6 knight f3 maybe to d4 so I don't know it's less <clears throat> might it be less tempting to take on e5 because then maybe queen g4 okay so here knight or queen g4 straight away queen g4 straight away looks interesting so the bishop might take to protect e5 but then takes and I've got queen d1 so I think I'll play that straight away he's resigned let's have a quick look that was I thought that was a nice positional game to a certain extent then it became a sort of tactical mess after he did invade with his rooks um, let's see so basically um, he let me blockade a d-pawn and play some prophylactic moves well you know I tried to stop f4 and a4 trying to also target these two with potentially b5 or f5 in the future um, so I got my f5 in <clears throat> but decided actually that fe wasn't that great just releasing tension unnecessarily when there's a bigger target here the king's safety so he did invade on the queen side kind of aggressively and I didn't realize it will get to this you know critical extent so this this knight maneuver was good attacking e5 um, and when he took rooks you know he, he uh, basically made the way for his rook to come into the position here because I didn't really want queen takes because there's rook a7 so he had exploited this knight interfering with the rook and queen on the seventh rank so here's like a critical bit of the game where hopefully knight g5 you know it's it's um, proven will be proved to be sound with Rivka I'm not sure so um but this this is great position I think here um, and he's under real time pressure so if the bishop moved to protect maybe um, something like knight d d4 would keep the pressure on 
Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.